This is Chris Orser Landscaping. What we're going to talk about today is uh, drainage behind a retaining wall. If you're interested in having uh, any type of retaining wall done, um, it's very important, actually crucial, to have the uh, <clears throat> the proper drainage um, techniques to, techniques installed behind the retaining wall. Um, if you don't do any of these steps that uh, I'm going to explain or um, by, bypass anything, it's, uh, the wall is going to be compromised and it's not going to stand up to the test of time. So, um, What needs to happen behind the retaining wall essentially is uh, to have a drainage pipe that runs along the bottom of the wall and this pipe here um, as you can see as we pan over here, uh, the guys at this point buried it with stone. But that black pipe runs all along the bottom of the wall to the beginning. And it's a perforated pipe. So what happens is when the water comes down, um, it enters the pipe and uh, exits out to, the, out to the street. The other very crucial part is to add uh, three quarter inch clean stone, not modified stone. This just has air space in there so it allows the water uh, to penetrate through the stone faster to get to that pipe and out to, to wherever you want it to exit to. Um, another crucial part is to, in, in dry laid walls anyway, which this is, uh, one of the benefits is any pressure or water that's coming down through the walls seeps through the walls. Uh, again, uh, alleviating some of that pressure. Ba and basically what happens on a hill, so retaining wall, um, retains soil. So, number one, there's pressure with the soil. Uh, number two, when it rains, there's added pressure with the water. So you want to alleviate that pressure behind the retaining wall. And at Chris Orser Landscaping, we take every precaution and every technique that you are supposed to take and that is standard um, uh, in, in doing this. There's also a layer of geotextile fabric here that separates the stone and the soil and what that does is it eliminates any stone, uh, drainage stone from migrating into the soil. Um, and with this particular project what we did, <clears throat> again going back to the pipe, is we led the pipe out to an existing pipe uh, that you could see here at grade. This was already in place and what we're going to do is we're going to tie this pipe here in with the other pipe and the water will then flow from there uh, out to the existing pipe uh, down into the street and then into the sewer line. So um, retaining walls, uh, drainage, um, and um, techniques behind the draining walls, very, very critical in uh, any retaining wall installation, whether it be a natural field stone like this or uh, some other kind of segmental concrete retaining wall. Uh, but drainage is crucial. Uh, if you need more information, you can get a hold of Chris Worcester Landscaping at 215-249-1236. Or you can visit us on the website at orserlandscaping.com. That's O-R-S-E-R landscaping.com.